Hey guys. Hey guys, it's Riley and I went to the bins. Oh, there's an airplane. Obviously I'm filming outside. Um, it's like the warmest day of the year so far. So I went to the bins on Wednesday and I met Carrie. And Carrie, I never remember your Instagram name. It's like Carrie a day or something. And so I'm gonna throw it up here. Carrie and I have been longtime Instagram friends and she's actually in Southern Illinois. Well, more Southern than me. So she drove up to go to the Romeoville bins and I went and met her and we hung out. God damn it, there's kids outside. She drove up to the new-ish Romeoville bins, Illinois, where I have been going. And we shopped together for like four hours. Ooh. Like she was there all day. I drove up and met her around 2.30. And then I went back on Friday because I had taken some kids clothes to Once Upon a Child, which is by the bins, and uh, I couldn't pick up my stuff the same day, so I had to go back the next day to get my cash offer. And so I was like, eh, it's close to the bins. I'm going to the bins. So this is the hall, and what you don't see is the middle row is all full with stuff as well. And most of this stuff, I think the whole trunk, is the day I was there with Carrie. So we're just going to start pulling stuff and going through it. And I doubt you're going to get to see everything in this video just because of how much stuff there is. Okay, I don't know my cost of goods yet because obviously this is a raw, unsorted bins haul. And what I mean by unsorted is I do stuff, different things with different stuff. So you just get to see it all. And so my cost of goods is right here right here on the screen it's how much i paid per piece the bins i think are like a dollar 29 when you get over 25 pounds and i definitely got over 25 pounds so uh usually my cost of goods is around like two dollars per piece because i buy shoes but i didn't buy this many shoes the first day the second day i went crazy but okay let's get into it first i got a towel which is for the animal shelter i volunteer it they use towels for the puppies. And now Olive has a blanket to lay on. You really get to see everything. Normally you don't see, no, you can't lay on the clothes. I just, I just gave you a towel. So this is LA Hearts, which is a PacSun brand. And I do not pick up PacSun to sell, uh, but I thought buy, sell, trade, Buffalo Exchanger Crossroads might take this. They're a little iffy on surfer brands, so I could totally see them passing, but I figured I'd try it, and if not, I'd figure out something else to do with it. So I bought a lot of kids for kids consignment. Carrie also threw me a lot of kids clothes. She has kids, so she actually knows it's trendy. She probably threw me this. So this is H&M, but I'm not actually gonna show you everything. Uh, most of the kids clothes, I'm just gonna put to the side without showing you for time's sake. Yes, I do have a rash. No, I don't know what it is. Um, yes, I should schedule a doctor's appointment. Wednesday was definitely better than Friday. So a lot of the good stuff is actually the stuff you're going to be seeing in this video. This is a Ralph Lauren polo shirt. It's a 3XB. I don't know what the B is. I'm sure you do if you sell men's clothes. It's got the polo. I'm assuming it's not going to go for a lot, but it's a 3X. So I figured I'd try it on Poshmark. Uh, if you're new to my channel, I only sell on Poshmark, so all of this, if it's getting listed, will be listed on Poshmark. Okay, I was so surprised to find this. I never find Patagonia. It's a Patagonia Cinchilla, and I have a feeling this will not be getting sold. It is a size small, but I have a feeling it will be staying within my family, so Mother's Day is coming up. I'll probably pass this along to my mom. I don't think there's anything wrong with that and it was in a picked over bin, so I'm happy. Correct me if I'm wrong, this Cat and Jack piece, Goodwill wanted $4. This probably would have been like $4 at the store, right? Maybe six, I don't know. Okay, here's one kid's clothing brand I do sell myself and it is Janie and Jack and I think this is the first time I've ever found it new with tags. Even though part of the tag is pulled off. I'm assuming this was originally a set, however, I only found this piece and it was six dollars originally um it's a top right <laughs> so this will probably go for like twelve dollars on poshmark i don't know this brand pack cases maybe uh i picked it up based on style for buy sell trade along the lines with that pack sun 
LA Heart style top. I don't know if they'll for sure take this, but it feels more Plato's closet-y, so maybe one day I'll run up. No, Olive! Sorry if the angle changed. So, I think it probably did a little bit, okay. So maybe one day I'll run up to Plato's closet if this stuff does not get accepted. You're probably gonna hear this a lot throughout this video. This is something Carrie gave me. Carrie was very picky and I am not very picky and she is very nice and tossed me so many things and I asked her so many times, are you sure you don't want this? And she only took one thing that I gave her and I tried to give her so much stuff, but good for her. She's a better reseller. <laughs> She's picky. Uh, this is a Nanette Lepore, like Nanette by Nanette Lepore dress. I don't have much luck with this brand, but this is new with tags MSRP of $130, $38. This is sold at department stores like Nordstrom. It just doesn't have that good of a following and N Nanette Lepore usually only will pick up and sell in their swimsuits, but again, I'll give this dress a try. Hope to get like 20 to 25. This is a kid's North Face jacket carry past me. Um, I don't see size. It's probably reversible, so it's probably in the pocket, but it's like slightly dingy, so I wasn't sure if I was going to sell it myself or take it to Once Upon a Child, but I think even in this condition, I can still get 15 to 20, so I'll sell it myself. These are Baby Gap. I have like zero luck selling Baby Gap. I've tried to sell cute pieces single on their own. I've tried to sell lots of the same size. I don't think I've ever sold it, so this always goes to Once Upon a Child. So I get a, I fill up a tote for Once Upon a Child, take it to them, and when they pay me, I usually get like 40 to 80 bucks for what they take. These feel, give me like vintage polo row form vibes, so I think I'm gonna sell them myself. Men's shorts. Uh, here is the tag, if you know more than I do, feel free to try and date these for me. But I think without knowing anything, I can get at least 15, honestly, probably closer to 20. So I'll do some research and if they're not worth selling, I'm sure Buffalo Exchange Crossroads would take these. Another item Carrie passed me, I was planning to take these to uh, Once Upon a Child. They're actually a Stitch Fix kids piece from the brand Reverie Kids. But I checked comps on Poshmark and they're going for like uh, new tags, 15 to 20 which is often the sale price. I don't aim for that at the bins, but it's often the pieces I find are 15 to 20 and I'm okay with that because my cost of goods is relatively low. Another carry toss is this sleep sack swaddle. I've had luck with these in the past from different brands. I think that this is a good one. So I'm gonna look this one up and hopefully it will be another $15 sale. If it's not for some reason, it will go to Once Upon a Child. More kids stuff, baby gap. Old Navy. I love finding Cat and Jack and Old Navy stuff for Once Upon a Child because they love it. If it's a trendy, cute style, they pretty much always buy it in good condition. Carrie passed me this Madewell piece. I'm really picky with the Madewell I list these days. This is a sweater, so out of season. But what I usually do these days when deciding what I want to list, uh, this is from Fall 21, is I'll check the style, you know, style number to Google put it in Poshmark and see how oversaturated the style and color of this specific piece is. So this is in size, a small. So say there's like five of these listed in a small and the lowest is like listed for $15. I'm probably gonna take it to buy, sell, trade because they'll price it at 18 and I get 50% of that and in store credit. So, however, I'm going to put this in my sell myself pile because I need to look it up before I officially decide what to do. These are some 5'11 tactical pants, and I have a t-shirt from this brand listed, but it hasn't sold, and that's the only experience I've had with this brand. I know it's like a utility workwear brand, stuff you wear if you're a fireman, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> so, uh, oh no, I totally missed this. Don't know how. There's a mark on the butt. <laughs> WL. That's what I said. These are probably men's. Um, I'll probably, since they are like a workwear pant and they're probably going to get stained and dirty, I'll probably still list them with a the mark on the butt and hope to get 10 to 15. Unfortunately, I should have thrown these back because they're kind of heavy. Okay, here's a JGL piece. JGL doesn't do super well for me, but this is a 2X and it's either all, I think it's a linen blend. I remember looking. So plus size linen pants. I thought these would be a good summer pickup, another $15 to $20 sale, hopefully. Oh, this is Soft Surroundings. Um, soft Surroundings is so weird for me because sometimes it sells in a couple days or weeks. 
and sometimes it takes years to sell. So I grabbed this sweater and it is a size small. People say it does better in larger sizes. I've sold it in all sizes. Um, I'm probably going to put this away in a sweater bin for fall, winter, but like, you know, pull it out, start listing in August because I have a ton of swimsuits and dresses to get listed and this is obviously prime season for that so i'm not going to be prioritizing sweaters i will likely be listing these myself they are from akira and i grabbed an akira piece at the bins as an experimental let's see how it does because i had sold it in the past when i first started reselling like back in 2015 2016 and it sold it's a fast fashion brand my mailman just saw me like this <laughs> that's okay we don't get embarrassed here <sighs> so these what are you gonna say oh yeah so this is the akira tag it used to be like a chicago brand like it said akira chicago i don't know if it is anymore it's like sold in malls anyway i picked up a piece a couple months ago from the bins and it sold in like a month for six, 15 or 16 dollars it was a jacket like a kind of ugly jacket in my opinion, but like these are also kind of ugly in my opinion. So I figured these would probably sell, right? For like 15 to 20, so I'm gonna do that. I think Carrie did toss me these. These are uh, $7 at Goodwill, never sold. They're actually in great condition. They feel like they were never worn. I'm not sure how I got this in a bin. It was the end of the day, possibly the t-shirt guys, vintage, you know, like the guys who sell this all left. mailman is walking back and forth watching me <laughs> okay so it is a jumpsuit so you know I see it in the bins and I'm like what's wrong with it <laughs> the t-shirt bros didn't grab it what's wrong with it I saw nothing wrong with it and then I was like maybe these don't sell but I'm sure they sell I'm also sure that I'm pretty sure I saw some of these at Crossroads priced at like $65, which means I would get half of that. So even if they don't have a good resale value, I'm sure Crossroads would take them. I mean, it's in pretty good condition, but I mean, I know like beat up Carhartt does well or whatever. So I'm just hoping that since it was the end of the day and all the t-shirts bros left is why nobody bought this. It is very heavy. So honestly, I might put my cost of goods on this as like $5 to make sure my cost doesn't skyrocket and everything else. That could also be why people might not want to pay for the weight. And guess what? There was another one in Carrie's bin and Carrie didn't want it. I don't blame her, like freaking heavy. Carrie gave me this one as well. So again, these are probably, gosh, oh my God, I didn't even think about shipping on Poshmark. Ah, uh, five pounds. Whatever, let's hope. They don't weigh five pounds, but I'm probably gonna put my cost of goods onto each of these as five dollars. So like take ten dollars out of everything so my cost doesn't skyrocket on <laughs> everything else. So two of the exact same. That one has a little bit of wear on the pockets. Cat and Jack, great condition shorts. I don't know how much they actually pay me per piece, but I just know I'm in the profit. These two pieces are for buy sell trade. This is a more like vintage style sweater which I think they'll take, but I'm not 100% sure. But I guess I'd rather spend 80 cents on it and have them take it and give me $10 than, you know, leave $10 behind in the bins. Uh, they like uh, Crossroads and Buffalo Exchange like vintage stuff, at least the ones by me. This is also for them and I checked and it's not Shein because they don't buy Shein. It's just another unbranded like fast fashion brand and they really don't buy fast fashion but I figured they'd buy this tweet see it's zesty it looks exactly like Shein but it doesn't say Shein so let's hope they buy this for me and put like $14 on it since it's tweed I grabbed this Christmas sweater from Tiara Woman brand obviously it doesn't matter on these so I picked up a few of these throughout the year last year put them in a bin got them all listed in October and they all sold within a few weeks from like no name brand like uh, Croft and Borrow obviously not a brand I'm picking up to resell but people want Christmas sweaters so I'm going to be doing the same thing this year I already have some I'm going to put a little bin together pull them out in October list them and hope to sell this for 20 to 30 dollars okay I got this Chico's piece not the best brand for me probably does better on eBay but it's like a knit shawl, kind of fun. It's not a poncho because it doesn't go over, but 
I think the only thing that would make it hard to sell is there's no size on it. But I mean, you know, it's just one of those pieces. So I probably won't price it too high. Probably will hope to get like $20. Honestly, this is likely going to go in my sweater bin for August to list sweaters. I think it's easier to find summer stuff, dresses, shorts, tank top shirts in the summer than it is to find sweaters in the winter. So I'd rather have a stockpile of sweaters to get ahead of you know, the season than a stockpile of summer stuff. And again, on that note, this is something Carrie tossed me. I told her to buy it and she didn't want to. It is again, a very heavy piece. Maybe one I'll put $5 on because it's probably a few pounds. And so it is knit for J. Crew, 100% wool. It's a medium. I could see actually my mom wanting this, but maybe I want to sell it. I don't know. I could put it, I think I'm gonna put like together a little bit of stuff for Mother's Day of stuff I've gotten her at the outlet the last two trips and she can take whatever she wants from it. So this might go in there for my mom. If not, I have a feeling this will be a J. Crew piece that sells for over $30. Let's see when it's from. Holiday 21, so newer piece. I will pick up older J. Crew though, if it's a cute style. Oh, Carrie tossed me this Urban Outfitters piece for buy, sell, trade. That's one of their tags. I literally can't sell Urban Outfitters to save my life. Um, but I mean, this is super cute and I think buy, sell, trade will definitely take it. This is not even covering my boobs. Look at that. Okay, I also grabbed this. Um, I'll check comps and decide if it's selling for 15 to 20. I'll list it myself. If it's not, it will go to buy, sell, trade in the fall. Kenzie Jeans, not my favorite brand, doesn't have a high retail. Obviously, I just quoted 15 to 20 dollars, but it's a jacket, so fall, winter might be a good piece. This was my designer find of the day, I believe, and it was at Goodwill for eight dollars. It never sold because, I mean, it's a very unique print someone has to be looking for something like this but it's also an extra small let's see can you guess what the brand is i'm assuming you can't it honestly feels like fast fashion so it is apc which yeah is a french brand yeah there's this tag there's an, an interior tag i'm still gonna do some research to make sure this piece is authentic just because it feels kind of fast fashiony um but i mean Lightweight, I guess, doesn't necessarily mean fast fashion. It is a YKK zipper. Even though this is like a designer, mid-tier luxury brand, uh, this skirt I don't think is going to be a sought-after piece that's going to go for more than like $30. It's probably a $25 skirt. Another carry tossed Riley find. It is a Nua Tags Eloquy dress. Eloquy is a plus-size brand. Here's the tag. This is an 18. Nua Tags. It's like pretty cheap feeling but you know this dress probably retailed close to 100 meaning I can get probably $30 for it I think this is very ugly but let's hope somebody thinks it's cute okay I picked this up based on style it is from the brand Nick Danger which isn't that like a Nickelodeon kid show if I'm correct anyway I thought the wash on this sweater was good so I'll look up the brand and see if it happens to be anything good if it's not, it will go to buy, sell, trade in the fall and hopefully they'll buy it because again, like I said, the wash is kind of cool. It's kind of like a bleached wash. Another Carrie past Riley, these Kenzie jeans. They're high rise slim leg. I actually sold a pair of their slim or straight leg jeans a few months ago that came from the bins for like $20. So that would be another happy sale for me if it sold for about 20. These are for buy, sell, trade. I think these, I don't know where this is sold, Tinseltown, but it's like a Junior's brand. Goodwill wanted $7. I say Junior's because it's sized as a three. I guess it could be something else. But I, So I was really debating whether I wanted to pick these up for buy, sell, trade or not, but it's just like the style is like, like a slightly flare leg with this butterfly print. Definitely seems like something Buffalo Exchange would buy. So I'll try it there. And then, I mean, I don't think this is a brand worth selling on Poshmark. I've literally never even looked it up. So these will probably, if don't get bought, have to be like a redonate. Barbara Gap sweater for Once Upon a Child. Once Upon a Child does buy stuff year round. So I just take them everything and they buy it. This is a Nick and Zoe sweater that I've sold, or I don't even know if you can call it a sweater, like a wrap I've sold a few times. This brand is like more mature, it does okay. And so this, I again, I will pick up 
this Nick and Zoe piece. There's like a tiny stain right here I'm seeing, that's fine. So it like, you can wear it like four ways. And so it's a very popular piece by them. It's either a linen or a linen blend. It's a linen blend. So I've sold it multiple times between 20 to 25. So I'm expecting this piece to go the same. Okay, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this piece, which I'm not realizing. I have some staining, so I might have to sell it. It's a Levi's shirt. I'm assuming somewhat vintage. There's the tag, like this just doesn't look modern. Um, but it's a pearl snap Levi's women's shirt, I think, cause that looks like it would yeah, be a woman's cut. So there is some staining I missed around the neckline, but I'll throw it in the wash and see if it comes out, you know, if it's worth it. Comps, I didn't check comps on this piece because I figured buy, sell, trade might want it if I couldn't sell it. So I'll do some research on that piece. Carrie tossed me this Hannah Anderson girls swim top. It's a separate, unfortunately, it's just the top. Uh, there's a tag. So I really don't think I could get more than $10 for this, but it's so adorable. How could you leave that behind? This is for buy, sell, trade. It's vintage Tommy Hilfiger. I have tried selling vintage Tommy Hilfiger many a times before. It does not sell for me. I have sold their jeans, but that was way back when they were still super popular, like the ones with the flag on the butt or whatever. But I figured buy, sell, trade still likes this stuff. So I figured that they would want this tank. And it was $6 at Goodwill, never sold. Okay, this is a men's polo Ralph Lauren piece, which I don't think will be worth selling myself. This is the new polo tag, however, and I have sold the new polo tag on kids stuff and it does well. Uh, this though, I think I will likely just take to buy, sell, trade because I don't think it will be in quick, easy sale. I think I'll sit on it for a long time, but you know, maybe I'll look it up. Carrie tossed me these pajama bottoms. They are Hannah Anderson Star Wars. Holiday? Are they holiday? No. Yes, those Christmas trees. Holiday pajama bottoms. Uh, there was no top, so it's just the bottoms. And I would actually give these to my sister if they were her size, but they're not. So I will sell them. She actually bought all of the holiday pajamas when they went on sale. Um, so she has Hanukkah pajamas. She has Star Wars holiday pajamas like that. Like not that print, but it's olive a different one. Oh, the kids are back so unfortunately back in january we lost some awesome neighbors they had to move and they sold their house to people that don't seem so awesome and they have children i'm not a big fan of children but now their children are playing in the backyard which fair beautiful day but i can no longer film my video with them playing in the backyard because all you hear is kids screaming so this is the end of the part of this video thank you guys so much for watching there will be many more to come because of how large this haul is so i will see you guys in another video soon goodbye